Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And I'm going to talk about the new Wellness Plus with Plenty program that Rite Aid is going to be launching on May the 4th of 2015. Yeah, <laughs> so that's going to be the official day, uh, May the 4th, which is a Monday. Um, that's what I'm taking. That's what I saw on a thing today. <laughs> so um, I got this. Um, frequently asked question booklet and um, I did get to peruse the um, employee guide <laughs> that they're gonna have um, it's just an employee thing so I couldn't keep that <laughs> okay so um, but anyways it did mention in there that it was gonna start on the Monday the 4th so um, that's the launch date for this whole program. It hasn't even started yet. So because it hasn't started, we still have questions that aren't answered. So I'll talk about those in a second. But first, um, let's talk about what Wellness with Plenty is um, and who has it, who's, who's going to be involved in this. So um, American Express owns the company and they got these other companies to um, join the program. And it's it's a loyalty program. Um, so you get a card and then that looks like that. Well, that's the one with the wellness on it. I think if you sign up at Rite Aid, yours is going to look like that. If you get a card elsewhere, it's going to probably look like this without the wellness thing on it. Um, so um, at and involved. Uh, Exxon and Mobile gas stations. Macy's and um, um, Hulu. And Direct Energy, I think, is the energy company. It's not listed on this thing. I think they made this before Hulu and um, Direct Energy were involved. Um, oh, and Nationwide Insurance isn't listed on this either. So, um, yeah. So, basically, you when you um, buy something from these companies, and, and like with Rite Aid, it's going to be specific things that you have to buy, you'll get points on your card and then you can spend those at um, Exxon, Mobile, Macy's, or at Rite Aid. So you can get points from your AT&T bill, but you cannot pay your AT&T bill with any of the points. Okay, so it's just certain places. And um, anyway, so, so you're going to get points. And basically, um, the points convert into dollars. <laughs> so um, a hundred points would be equivalent of one dollar. Um, so anyways, you, um, you have to get a card, a new card, one of these, and um, they'll be handed them out at Rite Aid. You can register at Rite Aid and get it. Um, I'm assuming at Macy's and also at Exxon or Mobile gas stations, you'll be able to get the card as well. And, um, and so once you get the card, if you get it from a store like that, you have to go either to their website, plenty.com, or they're going to have a mobile app, so you can register through there, or um, you're going to have to call the 855-PLENTY, and then number one is their phone number. Um, you'll have to do one, contact them one of those three ways. Finish registering your card, and you'll get a PIN number. And then that's officially signs your card up and makes it active. So, um, because it says if you don't do that step where you go, you get the card and then you finish registering it and get your PIN number, um, you won't be able to spend any of your points that you get. Which, that'd be the whole reason to do this, so you get some points, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. it'll. I think it'll all become more clear once you get the program starts and you actually do it. Now, you don't have to... Um, um, get the card in the store. You can go onto plenty.com or they say even through the mobile app you can register that way completely yourself and then and then um, you know you'll be all signed up for it and then they'll mail you the card. Um, and so like if you go to Macy's and you get the card at Macy's you can then take your card over to Rite Aid and they can link your Rite Aid Wellness and your new Plenty card together. You can do it that way as well. So lots of ways to get the card, get registered for it and everything. Um, so you want to do that. Um, I take it 
possibly that you're going to be able to register for the card prior to May 4th, but I think May 4th is the first day that you can earn points in, in this, the program actually, um, you know, so we'll just have to see when time goes by because we're still more than a month away from, um, from this program actually launching. It's a brand new program. So there could be glitches, <laughs> funny things happening in the beginning, but you know, it's always fun to be in on, on the ground floor, basically when something like this starts. So we're going to be, <laughs> um, so let's see, we talked about who, who's involved. You got to get a card and then you're going to get points. So basically, um, like at Rite Aid, this is what's going to happen. We're already used to the upper reward deals. You go in, you buy, let's say you buy a bottle of vitamins and you get $3 in upper rewards back. It's going to be the exact same thing, except instead of $3 in upper rewards, you're going to get 300 points. And then that 300 points is the equivalent of $3. <laughs> it's the same thing, but they're dealing with this point thing. And they did it in points because you're going to be able to take those points. And you could get the points at Rite Aid, and then you could go over to Macy's, and you could spend them at Macy's. Or go buy some gas at Exxon, okay? Or, you know, anywhere, any of that. So that's what a benefit of this whole joint effort they're doing. So you can get points at different places and spend them at different places. And hopefully over time they'll add some new companies, some other places that I actually have near me where I would actually shop. And, um, and then, so it'll be more beneficial to me. But like, if you already have AT&T telephone service, you already, you're earning, you're going to be earning points right away. Okay. Um, so, um, basically when you get the points, you'll be able to start spending them once you have 200 points, which is like $2. That's the lowest amount. You have to spend at least 200 points if you're going to spend any points, all right? Um, that'll be a little bit different concept at Rite Aid. Sometimes I've just spent $1 in upper rewards before <laughs> on a transaction, so it'll have to be at least $2. And from what I read, they didn't have any cap on how much you could spend. So let's say you accumulated um, $100 in points, 1,000 points, then, um, you know, it, I didn't see where they had a cap on that. And of course, um, when programs just start up, they don't quite know how it's going to actually work once it gets implemented. So anything could change at any point, of course. But um, so they may eventually put a cap. I don't know. They may already have a cap and they just didn't spell that out in that stuff that I read today. Um, the points will be good for two years at least. So what it says is, is that um, at each December 31st, they're going to purge points. Any points that are older than two years on December 31st will get deleted. Okay. But that's a long time to spend your points and you know, um, that you have. So hopefully you can do that. That's the way Walgreens is. It, it's two years before they expire there. Um, let's see. And then when you go to check out, um, it's going to pop up on the little screen there, the, the little card swiping screen and ask you if you want to spend points or not. You don't have to spend the points. If you don't want to, you can say, no, I want to, don't want to use any of my points on this transaction. Um, and then, like I said, it, what it said in there, it'll default to the highest amount that it can use. So let's say you're buying $10 worth of stuff and you have, um, $20 in points, it will, it'll default to use $10 of points. But you can elect not to use them or like only use $5 if that's what you want to do. You don't have to. They're giving you, it's a really great feature, I think, that Walgreens does not have. <laughs> you know, that you can pick the denomination of points that you want to use on a transaction. Um, so there's that. And then the other thing is, is you can't use your points at Rite Aid um, until 6 a.m. the next day. Just the same way that the upper wards are. So you can't. Just stand there and roll, roll, roll the points all day long. Um, the two things that I don't know about, um, are there going to be limits on the number of times you can do the deals? 
like upper awards, you know, usually it's a limit two or limit four. Um, I don't know if, um, if there's a limit like that, you know, they, they could make it limit one per transaction, you know, and, but I don't know that that hasn't been spelled out that I've seen. The other thing I don't know about, can you spend points and get points? I don't know. Um, you know, at Walgreens, you can't do that. And I don't know if they've done that um, here or not. But pretty much everything is um, exactly like um, the upper award programs, except it's going to be points and be loaded to your card, basically. Um, something else that they talked about um, with the... Um, they, they're going to have what they call um, point boosters. And I don't know what you're going to have to do to boost the points and um, what, what it's going to give you. But um, it said you'll be able to have point boosters through the uh, mobile app or through their website, plenty.com. So there may be like times like holidays and stuff, especially Black Friday deals. They'll be running specials so that maybe if you go shopping on at this weekend, then you'll get twice the points or something. They, I'm sure they're going to be doing stuff like that. and um, Or they may run a coupon. You know, spend $30 and scan this coupon and you'll get an extra um, 500 points or something. You know, they, they can do things like that. Walgreens does it. There isn't any reason that they can't do it with this program as well. So, um, so they're... Who knows? Who knows what? It could be anything. It's, it's a brand new program. There could be anything going on. So, um, let's see, I think I, I think I hit everything on my list here. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the biggest thing is <laughs> that we all want to know is, um, you know, are you going to be able to spend points and get points? Um, we'll just have to wait and see. And, um, yeah. Oh, and the other thing I saw, they, um, the exclusions on what you can spend your points on is exactly like um, upper awards. So it, you can't buy alcohol and tobacco and prescription drugs with your upper awards. You you can't spend your points on those same things. Um, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> um, I hope that answered some more of your questions, let you know a little bit more about what's going on with the Plenty program. I mean, I'm pretty excited because we get to be on, on the ground level of this. I, I wasn't shopping at Rite Aid when upper awards started. Um, I hear there were some really fabulous times back then. <laughs> so um, anyways, hopefully this um, new program will um, work out and be a good thing for us. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a long, long month of April <laughs> waiting for May to get here. That, that's what I know. So um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.